Yeah, Lori, David, we don't have a timeline of when we could see an actual vote on the Senate floor, but this bipartisan bill now has 24 senators who have signed on to co-sponsor 12 Democrats and 12 Republicans. This is a first step. Improve it and pass it sooner rather than later. And we could do much better working together under regular order rather than doubling down on partisanship and dysfunction. Two senators in the spotlight for what's become rare in Congress these days, bipartisan work to try and help stabilize the individual health insurance market, one that's facing skyrocketing rate hikes for 2018. The Murray Alexander bill would ensure funding for Affordable Care Act subsidies known as cost sharing reduction payments for the next two years, while also allowing more flexibility for states. And the legislation would let additional enrollees in the individual market the option to purchase lower cost catastrophic copper plans. The negotiations are always tough. There's things you disagree on and you have to work your way to an answer. The one issue we did not disagree on, but we worked the hardest on and had the most discussion on, was how we make sure we have the language in place on this that consumers benefit and it is not a bailout for insurers. We have a page and a half to make it clear that the benefits go to consumers, not insurance companies. Here in Washington's individual market, insurers have proposed double-digit rate hikes that will soon be approved. Steep increases that come as the state's top three insurers sit on a collective $3.5 billion surplus. I don't want the insurance companies making any more money because then they have to. This health care CSR debate rages on against a running clock. Open enrollment begins November 1st. Unless they're replaced with something else temporarily, there will be chaos in this country and millions of Americans will be hurt. So at this hour, as of today, it appears this bill has enough support to potentially pass the Senate if brought to the floor for a vote. The question then becomes what happens in the House of Representatives where it could face a much more uphill battle. It's unclear at this point whether the bill would have the support of Republican leadership in that chamber, and that includes Washington Congresswoman Kathy McMorris Rogers. I have made repeated requests for comment from her office, but have not yet heard back. We'll keep trying. Back to you. Natalie, thank you.